guys, Pogo Stick 29 here. Welcome to episode 30 of my bucket plugin coding tutorials. Yes, you heard that right. Episode 30 of my bucket plugin coding tutorials. Uh, give me a second to explain. Uh, so, five days ago, from when I made this video, I posted an intro video to my swing tutorial series, which I am still going to do. But um, but lately, for the past um, you know two months, I have been getting back into Minecraft a little bit. I've been uh, I don't really play it anymore, but I've been doing some coding for like uh, I've like I work for a few people writing code and and getting paid. So um, I have been doing a lot of that lately. I've also gotten a lot of requests, a lot of subscribers have um, sent me messages on Skype asking for help or telling me that I should uh, make another, you know, make more bucket videos. So I figured I've been doing it a lot lately and since most of you guys really want to see that, I am going to start the uh, bucket uh, plugin tutorial series. So what's going to happen is... The, I'm still going to keep the Swing tutorial series running because Swing is pretty cool and you're going to want to uh, learn that. I'm also going to bring out my uh, Bucket Plugin Coding Tutorials and continue today's episode uh, 30 and I'm going to continue doing that. I will post more Bucket tutorials than Swing tutorials and occasionally I will post something to Java Coding Tutorials if it's a basic Java thing that I haven't gone over that people really should know. So, that is the deal with that. You can expect a lot more um, bucket videos. The way that I'm going to do this is it's going to be based on requests. So, if you want to uh, learn something, please send me a message because I most likely will not make a video unless I get a request. If I can think of something good to make a video on, I will. But if you send me a quest, I will request. And if I can do it and it doesn't take you know more than 15 or 20 minutes... I will definitely do it. So, uh, with that out of the way, I just wanted to show you, um, at this time, 1.6.1 has come out, and there is a version of Bucket available. I just wanted to show you that you can go to uh, dl.bucket.org, click on Alternate Versions, and, uh, yeah, they've been doing some work. You can go ahead and download the latest development build from... 1.6. Uh, eventually, you know, they'll, they'll release a beta build and then a recommended build. Uh, but from now on, I'm going to be using 1.6 uh, to do everything. All right, so that is downloading. And the reason why I came here is to say thank you. I now have 253 subscribers. So there's the uh, 250 subscriber, um, you know, milestone. If you aren't already subscribed and you like my videos, um, please go ahead and subscribe every time I get a notification that someone is subscribed. Uh, you know, I, it, I smile and I'm happy because I know that that's one more person that my videos have helped. And I've also gotten, uh, over 12,500 views, which is pretty awesome. So, uh, that's all for there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let that download. And in the meantime, let me go ahead and switch out my Minecraft. And I'll get rid of the 1.5 Minecraft, and I'll have my 1.6 Minecraft. Okay, and now let me go ahead and launch the new Minecraft launcher. Uh, Alright, so I'll just go ahead and uh, do this. And uh, just so you guys know, I'm 99% sure that this GUI is made in Swing. So, once you learn some stuff about Swing, you can actually make something similar to this. Uh, it's not... I personally think this, uh, this is pretty ugly. I, I don't really like it, but, uh, that's just me. So, let's go ahead and run this. And Minecraft 1.6. Alright, and now, looks like Bucket finished, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. And I've made a folder called, um... Bucket plugin coding tutorials. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete my old craft bucket and take that. I'm gonna go ahead and into my testing server. Um, basically, all you have to do is put bucket in there, and you're going to want to get your start server. Watch episode one to learn how to do that, and then I have uh, essentials in my plugins. That's probably an old version, but I'll worry about it later. 
and I made an empty work, workspace folder. So if we go in here, I have it open to my workspace, and we are all ready to begin. So for this episode, I got a request earlier today for a warning-related plugin where you can, uh, okay, where you can, uh, you know, warn people. And the request was the uh, the first time you warn someone, it will, uh, it will, um, you know, send them a message, and you can specify a reason. Uh, the second time, it will kick the player with the reason specified. The third time, it will temporarily ban them for. 10 minutes or, or whatever. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. Right click and make a new Java project. And I'm just going to go ahead and call this Warren because I'm very clever with my names. And again, you're going to want to make your package me.pogostick29.warn. And if you guys don't know how to do any of this, watch episode one and two. And by the way, before you start watching this, you should watch all of the other bucket tutorials and all of the Java tutorials because I'm assuming that you already know that knowledge. So we'll go ahead and make our Warren class, which is our main class. And also you're gonna to want to right click here and say show line numbers because that's very helpful. So what we're going to do is again we need to right click properties, Java build path, libraries, add external jars, and then uh, desktop Okay, and then you're going to want to say extends Java plugin. All right, and now we're going to want to do our public boolean on command, command sender, sender, command cmd, string command label, string array, args. All right, and now we're going to do if cmd.getName equals ignore case warn alright so we're saying if the command is warn and we're going to first so what you're going to want to do is you're gonna to want to check um, you know uh, check for perms I'm not going to do that right now because you guys already know how and if you don't find my video on permissions and watch it uh, you know I'm not gonna worry about that right now then we're going to say if uh, args.length equals zero, so we want them to specify a player. Then we're going to do um, sender.send message, and this is for a console and player, it doesn't really matter. Uh, sender.send message, uh, you must specify a player, and we will do that in red. Check color.red. Okay. And of course, we're going to want to return true. And now, what we are going to want to do is say, um, so now we have to do that whole thing where uh, we say player target equals bucket dot get server dot get player. And you know what? Uh, I don't think we actually need that. You know what? All right, I'm going to uh, put it in. So then we need our args zero. And then we are going to say if target equals equals null sender dot send message chat color dot red plus could not find player args zero. And remember if I tried to say could not find player target dot get name, target is null. So if I try to do target.getName, it's going to return null, and that will give me a problem. I just wanted to remind you guys. Then we're going to do, and uh, normally I would have a settings manager. Uh, watch my video on settings manager for that, but it's not terribly important. I'm just going to go ahead and use the built-in uh, option. So uh, we're going to say uh, int level equals this.getconfig dot get int uh got get int p dot, uh sorry targets dot get name. so let me just go ahead I just need to check one thing get the full path return get int path definitely uh 
Alright. So, what this is going to do, and you know, I'm just going to change this to be get. And we're going to call this object level equals. And so the way that this is going to be stored is in the config, you're actually going to have the name of the person and then the level. And the way that this is going to be is one, uh, and, uh, okay. Oops. Alright. Let me just move all of that up there. So that, so the way that this is going to work is, uh, that's weird. Sorry. The way that, that this is going to work is, uh, one, equals, uh, well, no, it's going to say, if they don't have everything, then we're going to want to, uh, message them. If they have a 1, then we want to kick them, and if they have a 2, then we want to temp ban them for, uh, config time. So first what we want to do is we want to say if level equals null. So if so if the player is not listed, it means that they haven't done anything, and we just want to uh, send them a message. And one other thing that we want to do is we want to make them specify a reason. So if args.length is less than... Uh, if args.length equals zero, then we want them to specify a player. Then we're going to want to say um, if args.length is less is uh, less than two. So if they don't specify anything, that we want them to specify a player. But if they, you know, if it's um, less than two, so if they don't specify, uh, then we want to do sender dot send message uh, check color dot red plus. Uh, and you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and change this and say if it's uh, less than two, then we're going to send them a message saying slash warn warn player reason and then what we're going to want to do is when we go ahead and do that we're going to say string msg equals and then just a blank string and then we're going to say for um, int i equals one i is less than args dot length I++. Plus plus. So this is our standard for loop, and we're starting it at 1 because we don't want the player name to be included in the, you know, reason. So we're going to say msg plus equals uh, args i. And before I used a string builder, I personally think this is easier because you don't need to make the string builder and use the append. You know, I, I just find this easier. So then um, we're going to say target dot uh, send targets dot send message msg and we'll put that in red because remember if they haven't done anything we want to send them a message so I can go ahead and put a check right there because we already finished that Turn true then we are going to say so if it's equal to no we're going to say int l equals int sorry equals int in integer can't spell today dot parse int level dot two string. Alright, and then we're going to say if L equals one target dot kick player uh, chest color dot red plus msg and put a check mark right there and uh, return true. So now if uh, L equals two and there's one thing that we need to go back and add I'll show you guys. So now if it's two, then we want to, uh, you know, go ahead and kick them. So we're going to want to make a private array list player. Uh, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. And probably uh, an integer. So it's going to be a hash map. Uh, and then it's going to contain the player and the length of time they're banned for. Uh, and then we're going to say band equals new hash map player integer. All right. And then we're going to say band dot puts targets. And I believe the value is whatever times 60. So I think if we want it to be 
Ah, let me think about this. So there's 60 seconds in a minute. So I think it's 10 times 60. I think that's the amount of time for 10 minutes. Just for our testing, we're going to make it be for, uh, you know, 10. I think that, I believe that's 10 seconds. I'm not completely sure. And return true. Now our next thing that we want to do is, um, we want to say, uh, bucket dot get server dot uh, get scheduler dot uh, dot schedule sync delayed task. Oh yeah, we want to do band dot put. We also need to do target dot uh, set band true. Oh, and we also want to kick them. So we want to uh, first put them in, and then we want to say uh, target dot kick player for message. Then we want to set them band. And let me just check. Okay. And then we want to say uh, this and new runnable public void run. Uh, and then we are going to want to say if band dot. Oh, you know what? What we're going to want to do is we don't even. It's, this is just going to be a an array list. Sorry. This is going to be an array list of players called band, which just holds array list player. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to set this for um, 10 seconds right now. And then we're going to say um, band.remove targets. And target needs to be final, which is fine. So let's recap, go through what we're doing. If the command is warned, you're going to want to check for permissions. If they don't specify enough arguments, we're going to tell them it's warned player reason. Uh, then we're going to attempt to get the player they specify. If we can't find it, we'll let them know. Um, we'll then get the message that they specify as a string. Uh, we'll then get the level and, uh, you know, check the level. If they don't have anything, just send them the message. Uh, if they do, then we're going to want to parse it as an integer, because we know it'll be an integer. If it's one, we want to kick them, and if it's two, we want to ban them. Now, the one thing that we are missing is we're not, you know, adding to the number. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to say this dot uh, get config dot set target dot get name to one. And we also want to do dot this dot uh, save config, and then we can go ahead and copy this. So if it's equal to one, then we want to set it equal to two. And then after this, what we're going to want to do is um, we don't want to add anything more to it. You can make it um, if you want so that if it's three, then they get permanently banned. Uh, okay, and then right here, you're just gonna go ahead and add a return statement return true. And I believe that is all for a basic warn plugin. So let me go ahead and make, uh, see how we're doing on time. Ooh, that's pretty long. Uh, let's go ahead and make our plugin.yml and name warn, uh, let's see, version 1.0 main stick 29warnwarn Description warn players. Okay, and now we're going to do um, commands warn usage slash command command player reason and description warn a player. And I'll also go in aliases, I'll just add W. That, I believe, should be good. So let's go ahead and export it as a jar file to the desktop bucket testing server, plugins, and we will call it Warren. Okay. Now let's go on over to our desktop and testing server and start up our testing server. Uh, 
All right. It looks like it looks like it worked. So let's go ahead and join our nuclear boost. Back Hmm. What does it say play offline? There we go. Now, let us try connecting to our looper host. Yay! And I have a nice bunch of items. I don't know why. Uh, the next thing that we are going to do... Let me clear my inventory is we are going to test out so if I do slash warn it will say warn player that, warn player reason um so let's go ahead and try warn uh list of twenty nine still not enough uh uh you are to pull ah yes so one little bug is you're going twenty plus equals uh like just like that just add the uh, extra quote, excuse me for one second, sorry about that guys, I'm back, uh, so as I said before, you just want to add the space right there, and I will also show you that, it, that if we go to our uh, warn config, it now says basic 29.1, so now Let's go ahead and export warn now that it will actually have the spaces. And let's spawn and reload. Okay, so now I have uh, one. So now if I go ahead and warn myself for you are too cool, it will kick me saying you are too cool in red. And I now have two. Now if we go ahead and join localhost and I warn myself I then get disconnected uh, but upon trying to join I can't and it says two. so it will not allow me to join but once the timer runs out which I believe is 10 seconds oh wait we don't even need we don't even I don't even know why I made this we don't Target dot set band false. Target. All right. So now what we want to do is uh, go ahead and export this. Reload. And now I uh, cannot join. Let me just go ahead and reset this. Alright. Now, when I join, let's go ahead and warn myself. I get the message. Okay, then I get kicked. One more time. And now I get kicked and it let me join. Alright, let me take a look because I believe that I want this to be for like that. Alright, let's give this a try. So I can't join. Let's go ahead and wait for about five seconds, and now I can join. So the way that this works is if you want the number of seconds, you just take the number of seconds and you multiply it by 20. So right now it's just set for five seconds. So there you go, guys. That is how to make a simple warning plugin that will first send a message, then kick, then uh, temporarily ban. You can go ahead and add your own twist to this because uh, from the first 29 videos, you guys definitely know how to do that. So as always, uh, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, subscribing always helps and it motivates me to make more videos. 
uh, comment with what you want to learn because chances are I won't make another video until someone requests something that I make. So please comment as many things as you want. And uh, that's all for this uh, episode. Uh, code is in the description, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.